hi guys so today i'm showing you guys how to make candle uh i've had a few persons asking how to make candles so i'm doing this by request all right so <laughs> channel if you are new here then welcome it's a pleasure having you please remember to like share scripts i just said scrub scrub subscribe and comment yeah so for today's video i'll be showing you guys how i make my scented candles i've had a lot of persons asking me how do you make your candles so i'm going to show you how i make my candles today i hope that i'm very informative and if you have any questions or suggestions concerns feel free to leave them down below in your comments because i am all about learning so i can show you what i know you can show me what you know all right guys so let's get into the video because i'm excited to make these candles all right we need to wick our jars ensure that your jars are clean and dry okay to do this i will be applying glue to the bottom of the wicks Okay, so after wicking the jars, you need to put your wick centering devices in. If you don't have wick centering devices, you can use a clothespin, a board clothespin. So I'm going to be applying this to the wick to get it in the center. You need to hold it, hold it and put your pin to hold it there. Our jars are ready. They are ready we are going to weigh our wax i'm using 464 soil wax which i've already weighed out here this is about five ounces so remember you tear your scale first and then you weigh i did them in two separate containers because i'm doing two different fragrances okay so this is a pot with hot water i'm going to add the wax to it to melt so here we go these containers can handle the heat All right, so we're gonna leave these to melt. We're gonna come back and check the temperature in a Calculating few. Calculating our fragrance addition. So remember, I'm making five ounce candles. For the percentage of the fragrance, you can use three to 10%. Don't go higher than 10. And if possible, don't use 10 because it might make your, your wax a little bit softer. So I'm using 6% because that is safe. I will get a strong smell and it won't mess with the consistency of my wax. So I'm dividing 6 by 100 and multiplying that by 5, which will give me 0.3 ounces. So I'm adding 0.3 ounces of fragrance to my molten wax. All right, guys, so I removed the wax it's completely molten let's check our temperature all right so when i just took it off it was at 180 it's dropping now so i'm going to add my my fragrance a quick one though melting point is 113 to 119 degrees fahrenheit however i brought it up to 180 because i wanted the molecules of the wax to expand and break down so that when i add my fragrance it can trap the fragrance much better all right so we're going to be adding our fragrance remember we are putting in 0.3 ounces i'm pouring from the bottle but i suggest you either Weigh your fragrances out or use a dropper. Ensure that you mix in your fragrance. I'm just using a disposable spoon. Added our 0.3 ounces of fragrance each. Now we are allowing it to cool down to about 135 or 130. We're cooling down to 130 degrees Fahrenheit and then we're going to pour. So the temperature has dropped and it's now time to pour. 
so we are pouring at 112 degrees fahrenheit which is perfectly fine now that we have poured we're gonna allow this to sit and cool down so leave it undisturbed all right guys so it's been a couple hours the candles they are looking really nice So see, smooth, nice. I am going to clip the wick. Perfect. Then I'm going to add my warning sticker to the bottom. Cover, label, and we are ready to go. I hope you found this video useful. Please remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe for more content like this. Thank you.